cooking pheasant in the traditional Acadian method. A rapir, sometimes referred to in English as rapi pie, is a traditional Acadian dish made from potatoes from which the starch have been removed, reconstituted with meat broth, then baked in the oven until golden brown. In this photo, the finished pheasant rapur is served with pickled root beet and Solomon Gundy. There is no one recipe for rapur. Subtle cultural differences between Acadian regions have led to many variables. Some regions prefer a soupier rapur, while others prefer a drier, firmer potato pie. Some regions vary the coarseness of the grate, ranging from the finely pureed potato stock used in this recipe to the loosely grated potato. One thing is constant. The potato is grated or pureed, the starches are removed, and reconstituted with boiling meat broth. For this recipe, I am using a small pheasant and the potato pulp is a commercially available product made specially for raw pur and potato dumplings. It is found in the frozen food section of most Nova Scotia grocers. Preparation time is five hours. First, you need a bird. In this case, it's a pheasant. Also, butter, salt, pepper, fresh basil, fresh parsley, small greens, cubed potato, garlic, onions. Brown all of these ingredients in a large soup pot. Once the ingredients are seared enough to flavor a stock, add six cups of water and boil the hell out of it. When the meat is cooked, remove it from the broth and cool it, but do not discard the broth. Allow your potato pulp to thaw at room temperature. Never attempt to thaw this stuff in the microwave. It looks rather unassuming, and so do the salted onion greens. Carefully debone the cooled pheasant saving all possible edible meat. A raw pur is intended to be a very frugal dish, making the most of its ingredients with very little waste. Salt onions are traditional in Nova Scotia, but some variations of the dish in New Brunswick and the Magdalen Islands use salted marsh grasses. A parsley is more commonly used in Nova Scotia, but in New Brunswick you will see summer savory, particularly in the areas where the plant grows wild. All of Rapier's pieces are ready to come together. A potato, pheasant, salt onion greens, onions and parsley. Gather the potato, onion greens, chopped onion, and parsley in a large bowl. Mix it up together with your hands, making sure there are no large frozen potato clumps. A large wooden spoon is essential for a mixing tool. Bring your remaining broth to a roaring boil. Add water if you need, because for this next part we need 7 to 8 cups of broth. Add the boiling broth to the potato mixture 2 cups at a time. Mix together with the wooden spoon until it is consistent. Repeat this step for each 2 cups of broth. Do not add all the boiling broth at once. This will spoil your raw pur. Continue adding two cups at a time, mixing thoroughly each time. Through the wooden spoon, the mixture will at first seem to harden, then become runnier as more broth is added. This is where most people stop adding broth. 
and that is the most common mistake for a failed raw pur. Continue adding two cups at a time until the mixture begins to set. This happens because the potato has begun to cook from the heat of the broth. At this point, when your mixture is ready, your arm will be sore. If it isn't, you have not mixed it enough. Because the potato has become more solid, the wooden spoon will have no problem standing up by itself. Next, you butter a large dish liberally. Fill halfway with the potato and broth mixture. Add a layer of pheasant meat and do not mix. Finish with another layer of potato covering the meat. Next, you bake it in a 385 degree oven for at least three hours or until the dish is covered by a deep brown crust. Serve it with molasses, butter, salt and pepper to taste.